subjects, it's the Rodent Queen here, and today's video is about why hamsters of any species need large cages. This cage here is not Light's regular cage. Light's cage is a 480 square inch bin cage. The minimum hamster cage size is 450 square inches. This cage is just a carrier. However, I did get this cage in the shop and it was being marketed as a full-time hamster housing. I know what you're thinking, that hamster is tiny, that's pl plenty of room, he looks fine. Well, he actually isn't. Even with none of his supplies in the cage, he is already showing signs of wanting out and being in distress. Now imagine him with all of his supplies in. No, better yet, imagine a Syrian. A Syrian can grow up to a little over 4 ounces and a little over 7 inches. Light is a Roboroski hamster, the smallest species of hamster. It only gets to about 2 inches. What we're going to do is we're going to put only the absolute necessity items in this cage and see how cramped it is. Then we're going to imagine what it would be like for a bigger hamster, and hopefully you can see why this carrier is exactly that, a carrier, not an enclosure. First, the wheel. That alone takes up half the cage. That's half the room he needs to play, bathe, and sleep. That's gone. Now, the food and water. I barely got this in. Another quarter. Hut. Choose. That's the basics. He's got no room to play or do hamster things. This, he'd be spending his entire life in this. Keep that in mind. It's pretty awful, honestly. Now, imagine a Syrian. This barely fit, and he is the, light is the smallest species of hamster. Imagine a Syrian, Chinese, or hybrid. Bigger hamsters with bigger things. Now with that in mind, I hope you can see why pet shop cages are not suitable, not for hamsters, and almost always not for any animal they were designed for. Use the better option. Get a bin cage or a tank, or DIY a cage yourself. If you don't have the room, don't get a hamster.